Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how temperature is related to the movement and flow of a liquid. To help us better observe this, we'll be using this colored dye to determine how temperature affects the movement of the molecules as indicated by how rapidly the dye spreads or diffuses through the liquid. Let's dive in. Recall that kinetic energy and temperature are directly related. So as the molecules increase in temperature, we should observe more movement. To help us quantify the amount of movement, let's try using several beakers of water at different temperatures. Notice that they're all about 10 degrees Celsius apart. Based on what we know about kinetic energy, what differences should we expect to see in how fast the dye spreads? Go ahead and write down what you think will happen. Feel free to try this at home. All you need is some dye and a thermometer and a couple different containers for water. While we certainly could have collected more temperature samples or allowed for more time to pass for the dye to spread throughout the water, we have enough to work with here. Notice how the dye has spread differently throughout each beaker. Why do you think that is? To better understand why this is happening, we need to learn more about the relationships between the number of molecules and the space between them. This is the concept called density. 